hello and welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how i put together a pdf pattern it's pretty simple and i'm going to use it on a bucket hat pattern so this is going to be a really quick simple video just giving you the gist of how to put together pdf patterns and how to make it um, a quick smooth process seeing that you clicked on this video you might need some assistance so if you'd like to know how to put together a PDF pattern, just keep on watching. Okay, so as I stated, we're starting with a bucket hat pattern. This one is from Mood. Uh, they have a bunch of free patterns on their website. We'll get into the size chart and everything later, but right now we wanna set ourselves up to make this easy. So you see that white line right there? You're gonna cut that off on each page and you're only gonna do that on one side of the page. That basically takes away um, the excess space when you're putting it together. You'll see what I'm talking about. So now we're starting with the first page. You see they have each page numbered. In most PDF patterns, they will have the numbers on there or letters or something like that to show you where each thing is gonna go. Um, so we're just matching those lines. With this pattern, it does look like they're, it, it printed a little off because when I put it together, it did not match perfectly. So I just had to um, move it over a little bit just to make sure that you get the full circumference of that circle. And then once you lay it out perfectly, then you're gonna go ahead and put your tape over those lines. Make sure that when you put the tape down that you're at least taping where the black lines are. So from the outer part to the opposite end make sure you put tape across that so when you cut it nothing falls off or anything like that here I matched it wrong and I realized that so I ended up taking the tape off and putting it back down um, but yeah don't be afraid to like if you if you tape it wrong just gently take it apart, put it back together. Just make sure that the lines are matching because you don't want your pattern to be off at the end. And then you're wondering why it didn't come out right, you know? And so with this, you see again that there is a space. Just make sure that the lines are aligned. So you're gonna match, um, each line has an indication that it's a different line. So it has a different dash, it has dots or something like that. Make sure that those are matching. And if you do that, then it will be aligned regardless if there's a space. So I'm done taping everything and right here I'm just checking each line to make sure that it matches. So I'm checking the dashes to make sure that that's the same dash on the opposite paper. So I'm just looking at those very closely to make sure that they are matching and that everything is aligned and also checking to see what may still need tape. All right, so now that the PDF pattern is put together, we're going to go ahead and check our measurements to see which number, I'm sorry, to see which letter we're going to use. So the size of my head was a 23, but I wanted to give extra space, you know, just in case I wear braids or something. So I went ahead and went up to F, which was the 24 to 24.5. And also, if you can see with whatever sizing you have, it comes with a different line. So you see mine is like a line, dash, line, dash, line. So I'm gonna find that on the pattern and then go ahead and cut that out. Okay. 
and now you have a bucket hat pattern my camera actually died so that's why um, this kind of ended abruptly but if you need a more detailed video I can definitely do it again but I wanted to just show you quickly how I do my PDF patterns it's pretty simple but I know sometimes you know you, if you see somebody do it once it'll be like duh so I just wanted to put this video out for anybody who needed it thank you so much for watching and y'all have a great day